today I'm strolling a jig. I haven't been on this lake for a month or so and I'm not sure where the walleye and sauger are. So I'm just, I want to cover a bunch of water till I find them. And the easy way to do that is what I call strolling a jig. It's really just trolling, but I'm using my electric motor and pulling a jig. This is a three quarter ounce jig with a three inch Berkeley twitch tail. And what I do is, I'm just on a, this is an old road that was submerged when they filled the reservoir. I know a wholesome walleye, but I don't know at what depth. Are they at the, you know, the seven foot shallow end depth or are they at the 25 foot depth? So I'm just going to troll the whole thing. So I get up on the road, get my three quarter ounce jig, and just drop it or pitch it behind the boat. Set your drag pretty loose. And then I'm waiting for it to hit the bottom right now. Okay, I'm, I'm hitting the bottom. A little too much. But if you look, as I get going, I ease the jig back. Ease the jig back, tunk, I feel it hit the bottom. Tunk, I feel it hit the bottom. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. I want my jig about six inches off of the bottom. Tunk, it hits the bottom. I got out too much line. Okay, there, I hit the bottom, I raise it up just a little bit, and then just troll, and I'm watching my electronics real close to make sure I stay on this road. The speed doesn't matter, I'm going one mile an hour now, I'll go as fast as I can. This water's 81 degrees, you don't have to pussyfoot around for walleye, kick it in the ass. I'll go two mile an hour if I want to, uh, but you go so fast you won't be able to keep the jig on the bottom, so... Let that line until you feel the bottom. Until you feel the bottom, I raise it up about six inches. And then I'm not really jigging it, I'm just easing it back every couple seconds. Don't make sure I hit the bottom, raising it up. Don't hit the bottom, raise it up. That way I know I'm, you know, six inches a foot off the bottom. Somewhere around in that area, right where the wall are, and the solder. They're on the bottom in this lake usually. And then just hang on. And it helps too to use nano filter. There. I don't think that was a wall right there. It helps to use nano filler braid, that way you can feel the bite. And then also too it'll help set the hook. I'm moving 1.4 mile an hour right now. So if the wall or sauger grabs it, more than likely they're going to hook themselves. And then another tip I do um, when I'm fishing with someone else, I'll put a lighter jig on their pole. You know, like, I'm sorry, a heavier jig on their pole. Like, I would put a one ounce jig on my wife's pole right now, and I would use a three quarter. That way, it'll slow me down, force myself to slow down a little bit to make sure I get good bottom contact. I can feel her jig. And keep asking her every whip, can you feel the jig? Can you feel the jig? And if they can't, put a bigger one on. While I do not care, saw them, do not care. I've caught plenty of them on one ounce jigs. And don't use two poles either. You just look stupid. Just use one, fish it good. Instead of two poles half ass, fish one really good. Chunk, I hit the bottom, I raise it up. Chunk, I hit the bottom, I raise it up. And a lot of times, they all have a mile of line out. That always bothers people whenever I'm taking them fishing. Oh God, I can't feel the bottom. Keep letting the line out, take can. Tell them I get out here to 25 foot deep. I have a bunch of line out. And then slow down a little bit too when you get deeper. And as far as baits, you can really use any bait. I mean, I got a Berkeley switch tail in here. You could, you know, some days they might want a little bit more action, want a paddle tail bait. You know, a, a grub. I just put the switch tail on. And then I'll try something else if it don't work. And then keep looking at your electronic suit for lumps on the bottom. If I go through an area, I'm, I'm not necessarily looking for a school of walleye or sauger, but I like to see lumps now and then. And if I don't see any lumps, you know, solo fish sitting on the bottom, I'll quit fishing that area. I didn't catch anything strolling. Um, I just still think it's a valuable technique. I'll look for some clips where I actually caught some fish using that technique. Thanks for watching.
Oh yeah. There's a good walleye right there. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you.